Hey everyone, so in today's video we are gonna go over what every Game Pass does and if it's worth buying in my opinion. So this is a very biased video. If you don't agree with something, you can always drop it in the comments. I am respectful about your opinion, please be respectful about mine. Now let's get into the video. So the first Game Pass on the list is Excellent Employee. Description makes you a truly excellent employee, increasing both your earnings and how often you get promoted. Now what this does is if you go to work, let's say delivery person, that's what I like to do. So I'm not entirely sure if it increases your income directly or if they mean that when you level up faster you get more income with that because I haven't really noticed a jump in my income when I bought the Game Pass. Now I bought it in 2016 so it's been a while but I didn't really notice any jump in making money or whatever. Now as you can see I'm 71 out of 494 in level 22 pizza delivery. Now if I didn't have the Game Pass in pizza delivery and I delivered the pizza that I am delivering right now I would go to 73 of 494 but with the excellent employee game pass I will go to 75 as you can see so I get two more points it doubles your points that you get to level up and every time you level up you get just a little bit more money and you can go all the way up to level 50 so basically you can reach level 50 twice as fast with the excellent employee game pass so same with jobs where you would only get one point each time you level up you get two points now let me find an empty shelf I haven't done stalker in so long oh my goodness so now I got Got two points for doing that. Now where this is the most insane of an upgrade is in the minor job. I am now nine points. If I mine a simple rock block I go to 11 but then I, when I go down let me just go down real quick. So I dug down a little bit, I found this, um, I don't know what kind of block this is, a <laughs> rusty block, but if I mine this, it will make me level up so fast, I'm 23 now, once this is done, I go to 27, so I got 4 points just by mining this block instead of 2, if you go down even more, you can get up to 8 points for each block you mine, which is incredible. And also, this miner outfit with this skirt looks amazing, you have to admit it. <laughs> then next up we go to premium which is 400 robux as a premium member you get half bills double daily rewards a special name tag increased donation limit and the ability to choose your plot so obviously bills you, your bills are half so i think bills are 0.6 percent of your plot value while well, my plot value is zero now but if i were to have a plot worth a thousand dollars then my bills would normally be six dollars and if I have a premium, then my bills will go to $3 and it goes up from there. Then of course you get a special name tag. So if I chat now, I am in Froggy server and I type test. And as you can see, it will say premium. My text will be red and my name will be red as well. Of course, you can turn that off if you want to by going into options and you click none. And then if you type test, it'll go back to the normal. And then another perk you have with the premium game pass is that if you want to load in your plot, you can choose with these options right here where you want your plot to be. And I think that's sometimes really useful if you want to like build something that fits just one area or you want to have a nice view of like the city or whatever. Then you can choose to where you want to spawn your house. I like to be here or in this corner or in this corner. So these three plots are probably my favorites because I get a nice view of the town and the road ahead of me pretty nice I, I kind of like that and then of course you also get a higher donation limit so the current donation limit is ten thousand dollars and you have to wait a really long time before you can donate again if you have premium you can donate up to fifty thousand dollars at once but then you have to wait even longer than normal members to be able to donate again so kind of hate the donation cooldown but you can donate more at once with premium. Then next up we have multiple floors which is $300. Allows you to build up to five floors and make your house even more awesome. Now this game pass you used to be able to only build up to three floors and then they added two more floors which is quite amazing. So what you can do with this game pass is pretty obvious. You build a wall, you can go up to a higher floor, you can build here, you go up to a higher floor, you can build here and it goes on up to the fifth floor like that. So it basically gives you the ability to build multiple stories. Now I do think the first two stories at least should be free and not come in a game pass but that's my opinion. I feel like a lot of people want to build two-story houses but not more than that so that would be like a perfect thing to add to the game for free and then if you want to build a third floor 
or fifth floor that you have to pay for the multiple floors game pass but I feel like the first two floors should at least be free in that one and then a common question that comes with the multiple floor game passes is how you build your elevators so you go into stairs and then you find your elevators over here now placing them will only give you the option of a two-story build you press either B to go up and you can press it as many times as you want it goes up to the fifth floor and you press n on your keyboard to go back down again so b to go up and n to go down i'm not exactly sure how it works on mobile since i haven't really played on mobile i should definitely make a video on that once but this is how you do your elevator so with b and n on your keyboard but be careful as the price goes up when you go up and down as you can see it goes all the way up to 90,000, and this is for the cheapest standard elevator if you get the most expensive one and you go up all the way it goes up to hundred and eight thousand dollars <sighs> and then do we really have to do this we go to unlocked stereo which is 400 robux the description says allows you to play sounds from the roblox library in game create custom playlists access vehicle radios and use the dj booth at beat now this game pass as a lot of you know, I kind of hate this one, especially since it's 400 Robux. But what you can do is you can uh, place a table, yes, <laughs> and then you go into electronics and you place your radio. You can also do that with a car. So let me add a car from my inventory. And then if you click on the use thingy, you can see that there's a list of music, but it also allows you to add a song right over here and enter a sound ID. Now, how you get these sound IDs, you go to Google. And then you type, for example, Roblox sound ID or Roblox song ID, Roblox music codes. And then let's say I want to have Alt Town Road. I can copy that and then I can paste it right into Bloxburg and it adds it to my list. But as you can see, as it isn't public, what happened is a lot of songs used to be on the Roblox catalog and there were a lot of copyrighted songs from, for example, Ariana Grande, Billie Eilish, stuff like that. But that's not actually allowed on the Roblox catalog. And so what happened is a lot of songs got removed and you don't really have them anymore. And now the only way you can get songs that you like into Bloxburg with the Game Pass is like having them in a higher pitch or something like that so that it avoids the copyright uh, system from Roblox. I do not recommend doing that as it can get you banned, um, not for using them, but for making them. So I wouldn't make them. But if they are in the catalog, then you can use them, but it just doesn't sound the same. And it's better just to have YouTube or Spotify open and just listen to music like that while you're playing than to actually go and make a list in Bloxburg because it's kind of useless and chances are high that the song that you just added will be removed like in two days or three days and it really doesn't have any use other than to just sit there and wait for it to be removed so yeah i kind of i kind of hate how much they ask for that game pass and definitely something should be done about it now another perk with the music game pass is that you can go into the beat nightclub <laughs> you can go behind the dj booth and then right here you can click this and you can use and you can play the music that works and that you have added into here and play your own music for the entire disco so that's a nice thing if you go here with friends that you can actually be a dj here but other than that I don't think it's worth getting this game pass. Then next up is advanced placing for 200 Robux. And advanced placing allows you to place objects without collision checks in build mode, which means that they can be placed inside each other. Now, this is a very useful one. If you go into build mode, you can see these two squares here with a dotted line. Normally, you see this if you don't have the game pass. And if you then try and place something like you want a couch, but then you want to make this one an L-shaped couch, or you want to have like this inside it as a decoration. So as a lot of people do on Twitter and Instagram builds, you cannot do that. But if you have the advanced placement, you can click this and it turns the collision off with the dotted line. And then you can place this inside your couch and make a kind of like a bed couch combo. But it's not only for that, you can do a lot with that. And I feel like the most useful part of this is for adding details to your house, which is very important. And I feel like people without the advanced placing game pass are so limited in their creativity that they cannot really do anything, which is kind of sad if you don't have Robux, but you're very creative. I kind of feel like you need this game pass to be able to get even more creative with your builds and to add details to them. And also when it comes to gardens and you want to place like a lot of bushes in one spot and you don't have the game pass, you really have to like get a big gap in between them. And with the game pass on, you can just like add them kind of like inside each other, which creates nice areas 
guess, like that. So I kind of feel sad for people who don't have the game pass because they are so limited into building what they want to build. And I don't know if it should be free or not, but I don't know. I would be such a bad developer, I would probably give everything for free. So it's good that I do YouTube and not developing. <laughs> then next up, we have the large plot game pass, which is 250 Robux. And the description increases the boundary size of your plots to 50 by 50 instead of 30 by 30, making it possible to build even bigger houses. So what this does, going into build mode, as you can see, there is a thicker line on my plot where you can see the normal outline of the people who don't have large plot game passes. So this is quite easy for speed builders as well so that they can see if their plot or the house that they make actually fits for people who don't have the large plot game pass. And I kind of like that they added a thicker line for that. Now, everything outside of this thicker line is what the large plot gives you. So it's quite the improvement over the normal plot, but I feel like the normal plot will do unless you really like building big goals gardens or forests or hills, then you really do need the large plot game pass. And the last game pass, also the last one that was added, was basements. And basements is 100 Robux and it allows you to build basements. This is a very simple description, but it has everything inside it. So basements basically allow you to build a basement under your house. And if you have the multiple floor game pass, that will allow you to build up to six stories. So if you build a basement like that and you cannot build under it, by the way, you can create a wall and you can also add flooring so that you are able to build. See it as a second floor where you cannot place anything because you don't have flooring yet. It's basically the same for basements. So if you want a floor, you can go to manual flooring or you can create walls and then add flooring inside that. And that's how you create your flooring in your basement as well. This is a really nice game pass. However, keep in mind with pools, you cannot go all the way up here and create windows. Your pool has to be two blocks away from the basement. As you can see, I cannot place a pool here or here. I need to go all the way up here and that's where I can place my pool. So keep that in mind. You cannot make your pool go all the way up to your basement. So if you have a house with a pool, be careful of where you place your basement or you won't be able to build it at all. Now, if I had to rank them, my top recommendation would either be multiple floors or advanced placing. I feel like both of these should maybe be free in the game because, or at least the second story should be free for the multiple floor game pass because a lot of people want to build just two-story houses and not more than that so I feel like it would be a nice thing for people to be able to just build two floors advanced placement because I feel like people who don't have it have a limited creativity because of it and that's kind of sad I want to see more creative builds and people without Robux are creative too and they really want to do something with their house so I feel like maybe that should be free as well but if I had to pick one my favorite then it would probably be advanced placement even if you can only build bungalows, I want to be able to place stuff inside each other and not worry about any boundaries or whatever. Then going to my third place would be excellent employee because you do get money faster by leveling up faster and I do think it's really important to get as much money in as little time as possible because you don't play the game to work you play the game to build or role play or do anything else than working and then a shared place nah not a shared place um, I'm gonna rank basements over large plot because there's just so much more that you can do with basements and then my second to last place is a premium premium is 400 robux which is part of the two most expensive expensive game passes in the game and I feel like the two most expensive game passes in the game are the most useless ones so that's kind of oof but premium yeah it's it's an okay game pass but I feel like the name tag is just a status symbol and no one really cares about it also half bills and double daily rewards yes that's fine but I feel like making money is so easy at a certain point like when you level up a lot that you don't really care how high your bills are you just hate them nonetheless but of course having them half is nice but paying 400 robux for just that is quite expensive. The best feature about premium in my opinion is being able to choose where your plot is. And then of course my least favorite one, the unlocked stereo. Unlocked stereo, I just, it's so useless. You can go to YouTube and Spotify and get a way better quality audio than paying 400 Robux for a game pass that doesn't even work most of the times. So most of the stuff is just removed from, from Roblox anyways and adding it to your game will just say, oh, it, it's broken, it doesn't work, you can't load it in. So most of the music you can load in is either loud screaming or Christmas music, but other than that, it's very useless. And the DJ booth is 
quite fun, but definitely not worth 400 Robux. So that's my opinion on the Game Passes, that is what they all do. I try to explain it as much as possible and go into detail as much as possible, so that it's clear if you are thinking about getting some Game Passes, then you can definitely keep this video in mind. At the ranking at the end is completely my opinion, you can have a completely different opinion, the Unlock Stereo can be your favorite, I'm just giving my opinion on the matter, and I feel like the most expensive Game Passes are the ones that are the least worth it in my opinion. If you have some Robux, I would recommend advanced placing, multiple floors, and excellent employee. The other ones are optional, but I feel like the three that I just listed are very important and enhance the gameplay by a lot. So those are the most important ones. Definitely advanced placing. I love that one so much. Now I'm gonna leave it at this. I feel like it has been raining throughout the entire video. Wow, thank you Bloxburg. But that was it for today guys. I hope this video helped you and let me know what your favorite game pass is in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.